Hey everybody, good morning. 2020 is over, finally over, and we need closure. We need something that's going to symbolize a break with the past and a transition to the optimism of the future. People don't know what this Toshiko Soba. Thanks, Mom. Toshiko Soba is a buckwheat noodle we eat on New Year's Eve to welcome the new year. That's my mom. Osoba is made of uh, buckwheat and it's crunchy when you chew. That symbolically uh, cut off the old year and welcome new year. Today we're going to make Toshikoshi Soba from scratch because that's what we do in lockdown, right? So the noodles are a mixture of 80% buckwheat flour and 20% regular flour. Um, that gives it kind of a hardiness. And I'm going to also make the dashi, which is the soup stock uh, from scratch as well. Um, I haven't done either yet, uh, ever. So I've Googled it. I've YouTubed it. Come along with me, let's see what happens. Long noodles are symbolic for a long life. <laughs> I can't say it. It's dashi time. I have here kombu, which has been soaking overnight. Kombu is a uh, seaweed. It offers umami flavor. Umami is the fifth flavor profile. There's sweet, salty, sour, bitter, and umami, which has kind of like a, a meaty, taste to it like mushrooms have it uh, and um, well kombu has it so this has been soaking overnight in about four cups of water here it goes now I have to bring this to a boil oh wait not quite a boil it has to be almost boiling it's interesting to wait for something to not boil like I don't want it to boil because that means I screwed up don't boil don't boil well, that magical moment has arrived, so it's time to take the kombu out of the pan and um, discard it. The next step is to add katsuoboshi. These are bonito flakes. Um, they're finely shaved pieces of fish. I'm supposed to let the katsuoboshi boil and then I will turn the heat off and let it sit for about 10 minutes. I often used to stay at a hotel in Japan across the street from a bonito factory. So the smell of this fish reminds me of those concerts. <laughs> the next step is to strain the katsuoboshi out of the dashi. I don't want that in my final soup. This liquid will now go back into the pot and I'm going to add a few things to it. We've got soy sauce, a couple tablespoons, um, Sake, hold on a second. Mmm. Wait, hold on a second. <laughs> a half teaspoon of salt. Kosher salt. And mirin, a Japanese cooking wine. Okay, I'm gonna bring that to a boil, and when that boils, I think I'm done. I think that was it. You know, they make instant dashi powder, but that wasn't that hard. The next step is to make some noodles. I'm gonna get some water boiling so that we're ready to go. In Japan, I grew up with this tradition. Therefore, uh, since you are small, I introduced to you the same tradition. Thanks, Mom. All right, it's noodle time. I have two cups of buckwheat flour in the pot. I have half of a cup of all-purpose flour. There you go. And I have, I'll mix that up a little bit. And then I've got three quarters of a cup I probably should have sifted that, but oh well, too late now. Um, and I have three quarters of a cup of water. Here we go. Uh, I think that might be too much water. It's feeling like it's too much water. I think I just messed up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Happy New Year. <laughs> I had a cat named Buckwheat growing up. Um, Buckwheat's mother, her name was Oatmeal. I'm dropping bits of goo everywhere. <laughs> Okay, so I got this really wrong and I had to add even more flour and it's still not quite right. Let's see, let's see if I can salvage this mess. Okay, this just looks wrong. Okay, I think I'm starting to... <laughs> That's not right either. <laughs> Look at that. 
Okay, so I finally have a dough ball. <laughs> okay, so I finally have a dough ball here that I'm not especially proud of, but I think it's workable. So the next stage here involves rolling out this ball of dough and then cutting it uh, into noodles. This is tapioca flour that I'm putting on the, the cutting board so it doesn't stick. 2020! Ah! I've rolled this out to about as flat as it's going to get today with my skill set. So it's time to start cutting this into noodles. There are better ways of doing this, I'm sure, involving like measuring and uh, being really careful, but that's not really what I'm good at. My soba noodles have increasingly expanded in size and now they're, they're kind of like fettuccine. Making pasta is just a really satisfying process. It's time to boil the noodles. This is going to be kind of tricky because the noodles are only supposed to boil for 30 seconds. So here goes. All right, I'm going to transfer to this. Uh, I'm now going to wash the noodles by hand to get a little of that starch off. So this is pretty exciting. The soba, <laughs> it looks kind of horrendous actually, but I'm sure it's going to taste good. Fingers crossed. Um, there's a lot to be optimistic for. I am so optimistic for the incredible explosion of artistic expression that's going to happen within these next five to ten years. If you think about the effect of the lockdown and what it's, the impact it's had on the arts, it's going to be incredible. I'm so excited for what the future holds. Maybe not this dish. We'll see how it goes. Itadakimasu. Akumashite. Omedetou gozaimasu. Let's see how it is. Happy New Year. That wasn't a particularly long noodle, but hey, that's not bad. A little coming. Mm. My mother said crunchy. It's crunchy. Happy New Year. You're supposed to slurp. <laughs> You're supposed to slurp when you, when you drink the soup, so it gets more oxygen in. Wonderful. It's going to be a great year.